started not not trusting in that company and clients don't uh, you know uh, gives you know more order or you know further orders to the company so their business will definitely go, going to you know reduce and face some loss and but in some other way there is some value you know monetary value of the day. now come to quantitative assessment so we have seen the losses what kind of losses now come to this asset then loss of confidentiality loss of integrity loss of availability so if you look at this customer database is asset okay so loss of confidentiality is very high if it is going to be attacked or going to be leaked loss of integrity is very high loss of availability is minimum okay internal document then loss of confidentiality is mi minimum as medium loss of integrity is medium Ma loss of availability is low then it is a, it a, if it is a advertising literature then loss of confidentiality is low loss of integrity is medium loss of availability is low but if it is a hr record the loss of confidentiality is high loss of integrity is high and loss of availability is medium so this is how you know it is quite kind of uh, quantifying the thing but uh, we have to find out of how it can be converted to the monetary things based on these parameters low medium high and all these things okay now placing a monetary value on asset and elements so asset value so what are the things are the parameters here asset value impact that means if you are going to lose those data what impact you are going to face then threat frequency that means you know say hard disk drive failure is a threat how many times it can happen in a you know, year or anything okay then the safeguard effectiveness like uh, whatever the safeguard you have kept like firewall intrusion detection system antivirus all these things right so what uh, what level of effectiveness that does they have then safeguard cost when you are installing a firewall you are installing some security product they have some cost then uncertainty okay and probability of particular attack okay so based on all these parameter uh, they set some value of the asset okay now estimate potential losses so this step involves determining single loss expectancy or sle now how to find out uh, this thing or uh, what you know uh, how it is useful it will say it is a single loss expectancy expectancy into asset value equal to exposure factor okay now what are these things now go to the next slide you will find a table here the asset listed here right a risk listed here asset value exposure factor that means how much it is exposed to the i don't know, over the internet okay so exposure factor sle then annualized frequency and that means annually how many times uh, you know um, the attack is going to happen to this okay then uh, ALE, the ALE, uh, I have shown, I'm showing you where is ALE. Yeah. Um, it is annual loss expectancy. Okay. <clears throat> so, based on the, uh, you know, all these parameters I have shown you here, here, uh, the company, uh, you know, the, uh, the enterprise who are the um, data keeper basically who keeps the information they assign this asset value okay so and uh, they also inform the last you know previous years uh, data that how many how much it is exposed to the you know attacks and all these outsiders uh, they find out from the previous data and this expose factor they set okay then SLE they set and uh, then uh, SLE basically calculated from this you know 
then SLE equal to exposure factor by asset value. Okay, so uh, this is asset value, uh, this is exposure factor. So using these two, these values are calculated. Okay, then analyze frequency again from the previous year's uh, data that how many times it was uh, attacked. Okay, this particular database. Okay, so from that data, if it is available, then this frequency can be calculated. Okay, and finally they can cal calculate annual loss expectancy <coughs> or this value. Okay, so this is what uh, you know, you know, the way people calculate the value of data and uh, you know, loss uh, uh, and uh, say that uh, uh, how much asset you have in form of data and uh, how, what is the annual loss you can have and all these things, right? So conduct a threat analysis Estimate annual rate of occurrence, we'd already seen in previous table. Then how many times is this expected happen in one year? So this is what called ARO or conduct a threat analysis, okay. Then determine annual loss expectancy. So this is what annual loss expectancy in two or multiply with single loss expectancy equal to annualized rate of occurrence. So ALE equal to ARO by SLE. You can uh, think in this way also. Okay. So basically, um, in I didn't found this one in uh, our textbook. I had found uh, only little bit on a book. I have given link of that book in some previous slide. Uh, and we will uh, see and find uh, that one or I will share uh, that link separately or also. Okay, so a little bit theory I had found from there and I just uh, uh, put it here so that you can understand because numbers most of the time what happens when we see that somewhere some information leak is uh, data leak is happened, people are speaking in term of uh, dollars, right? So why they speak in term of dollar? how it is you know, determined. So just to give that flavor, I added this information here. Okay, so here are uh, you know, some example. I'm not uh, uh, discussing this uh, today, okay. Now handling risk. Uh, so there is four way of, you know, you can pay, face the risk. One is you reduce the risk, the chance of, you know, happening something, uh, Miss occurrence, then risk uh, tra transference. That means you purchase a insurance to transfer a portion of uh, or all the potential cost or loss to a third party. That means uh, <laughs> this is quite you know uh, tricky in case of uh, information or data. That means uh, uh, you are uh, doing insurance for your data. That means if my data is proved that it has been stolen by some attack, by some attack, or it has been uh, lost due to some physical, you know, attacks, then that insurance company company will pay you. Okay. Then another thing can happen that, that you can do that is uh, risk acceptance. You can simply accept the risk and deal with uh, risk by accepting the potential cost and loss of the risk occurrence. Okay, so <laughs> if you uh, see most of our small companies and small institutes, organ organization, they accept the risk. It does, does not invest anything in security. Hmm. And uh, they put all their data online and uh, that means what? They simply accepted the risk and uh, if something happens, they will they are ready somehow to face the consequences. Okay, then risk rejection. That means pretend uh, that the risk does not exist and ignore it. Although this is not a prudent course of action, it is one that some organizations students to take. That means uh, you are just pretending. You are just pretending that there is no risk. But also, you are doing some of the you know preventive measure in the background. Okay, so that is another way of doing it. Then uh, risk uh, handling risk uh, you can see uh, in term of value. 
So threat into vulnerability into asset value. If minus countermeasures equal to residual risk. Okay, that means what is the total risk? That means data. So here you can see a table. Uh, the mapping between threat, vulnerability, and risk. Here you can see threat type, then threat, vulnerability, and exposed risk. Here you can see human factor, internal threat. It, if it is internal, no, human factor can be internal and external. So both of the things are here. If it is a internal, then the threat is the intruder, and if it is external, the threat is uh, going to be a hacker. Okay, and vulnerability is going to be no security guard for control entrance, right? It, because he is an internal person. So no security guard is going to control these people's entrance into the system, right? But uh, hackers can uh, only you know exploit it through some misconfigured firewall, which will uh, you know, not detect uh, a had um, you know a malicious IP address or from where you know based on the uh, characteristic of access, the firewall will not pro protect or not uh, block that particular connection. Okay, exposed is here uh, the internal person, uh, the human can threat the data. If it is external, they can steal credit card information and so on. Uh, just one example it is written. Okay, this is simply example. Now, human factor, internal threat can be current employee. They can be, you know, poor accountability, no audit policy in the uh, company can lead or can, you know, um, give a chance of the current employee to do some, you know, uh, illegal things in the company. So loss of integrity and altered data. This can happen. Then there can be natural phenomena, natural threat uh, like fire and hurricane. Uh, what can what are the ex vulnerability insufficient fire control insufficient uh, preparation and damage uh, or loss of file in both the cases um, uh, uh, sorry the damage, damage of loss of life and you know data and so on so then malicious external threat like virus uh, out of date antivirus software if uh, the uh, you know the systems are um, keeping then it can be a vulnerability and virus infection and loss of uh, productivity can happen. Then technical internal threat like uh, hard drive failure can happen. And if uh, there is no data backup, that can be a vulnerability for that. Okay, and due to that uh, hard, no, hard drive failure, there can be that data loss and uh, unrecoverable downtime. Okay, so availability is going to be hampered. Right. 